I was trying to figure out what we were going to be doing today. Apparently, today is Pack Up and Run For Your Life Day. And just like that, we are all packed up. Apparently, late, late last night, there were messages, there were voicemails, there were knocks on the door. And because we were in Orlando doing the whole Universal Studios thing, we missed everything. And our messages light, the voicemail light on the, the phone in the room has been going off the entire time we've been here. So we missed that too. We knew good and well there's a hurricane approaching uh, and we knew that they had talked about the possibility of evacuation, but apparently the resort that we're staying at wanted everyone out by eight o'clock this morning. So they showed up at like nine o'clock and said, why are you still here? Get out now. <laughs> we're shuttering the, the windows. We're closing all the, the barricades and everything. Get out. So yeah, I haven't even showered or anything this morning, but we've got the car packed up. Mike and Janet, Christina's parents have their car packed up. The boys are here and everything. We're all good. We are heading out. We don't know where we're going, but we're heading out. <laughs> and apparently the vacation is not entirely over. The, the company that owns or works with uh, the, the resort we've been staying at has another one in Orlando and they have gone and hooked us up. So we have a room there through Saturday. Yay. 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 So time to make our way there and avoid the storm. Yay to Orlando. And we have arrived and all is pretty much well so far. It's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day outside. The funny thing is though, the entire way here, we kept getting these messages. I had already cleared one or two of them off, and every time these would go off, it's just saying hurricane warning in the area. The phone would buzz over and over and over again. So Christina was clearing these away from me and for herself. Her phone was just beeping and buzzing. And so yeah, apparently we are getting out just in time. And the cool thing is the place that we're gonna be staying at is actually the same place, the same resort that we stayed at a few years ago. The bad thing about this place is everything you want to do, you have to drive to do it. So anything on the property you want to do, you have to drive to get there. And if I'm going to be driving around to do something, I might as well just go ahead, get the car packed up and go out and do something. Like we're close enough. We could technically go do stuff at Disney. We could go do stuff back at Universal if we wanted to go back over there. I, I just saw a comment from George saying that we should have gotten ones at Universal and I'm I'm super tempted to go back to Universal, even though that's very expensive. But at the same time, we haven't been to Disney since they went all Star Wars, since they bought Star Wars. So that would be super tempting as well. And again, very expensive. I don't know. We'll just sort of have to see where the rest of the week takes us, as long as the winds don't come and, like, take us, literally. <laughs> ah, and we've got a place to be. Look how beautiful it is out. And we had a little bit of lunch. We're in. We're just now coming in the door, so I thought I'd walk you guys around, show you what it looks like. So somehow we went from a one-bedroom villa in a different location to a two-bedroom. We are having to pay for a little bit of a difference, but not too bad. But mom and dad got a credit for another vacation. Yeah, yeah they get a whole extra week, yeah, so that's so. cool. But here's our little kitchen. It's nicer. Yeah, <laughs> this is much nicer than the place we were in before. We Cannot have... complain. We yeah! got washer dryer. <laughs> she ran out of clothes, so this is perfect. Let's see, we got dining room, dining room. nice little dining room area, nice little living room area. We probably will not use it very much. The TV is very small, but that's okay. We'll step down in the bedroom, the master bedroom. They even came with a baby. It came with a free baby. Yeah. There's a nice bedroom and a little bathroom in here. Nice view. Oh, the view. Kind of a view out onto a golf course, it looks like. That'll do. Really pretty day out. And then let's go look at the other one. We gotta find all the lights in here. So this is our little suite. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got our two beds. Mm -hmm. So it means Duncan can ruin this. Yeah. Actually, this is the exact same layout. Just uh, seven years, eight years ago, I went to Georgia. No, it wasn't that It was long. 2009, so no, seven Duncan years. Was Duncan was a little kid. Oh, okay. So it wasn't that long. Yeah. Then we got the bathroom. It was like four years ago here. we were here. And we have a bathtub, so now Ellis can take a bath. Hooray! Yay! I think at this point, let's get the cars unloaded. We'll get everything inside, get all cleaned up. We didn't even have a chance to shower this morning, so I'm feeling really so That, and then maybe a little nap. It's been a long day so far. Or a little laying at the pool, relaxing maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's nice out. Yeah. And we've gone ahead and unpacked things and we're getting laundry and stuff done. We've been sort of relaxing for a few minutes, but now I think we're gonna head over to the pool. So I'm gonna have to swap out cameras. And this looks like as good a place as any is post up. Yeah, what's he think? He don't like it? He's not liking it, Ellis. Hey, we're in the water. But look at that. That's foreboding. Yeah. Ellis almost went underwater. We caught him. Yeah. Alice is in his little... Whatever this thing is, just float. 
He hates the water so much. <laughs> you don't like it. But now that he's not going under, maybe he'll last a little better. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it better? No, it's scary and cold. <gasps> Where you go? Hey there, Alice. Look, there's Bobby. There's Bobby, you see him? No. Let's just hope that this, which is right overhead, that does not turn into nastiness. Other than that, it's beautiful out. Hey, Alice isn't crying anymore. She's not crying now. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Where's Bobby at? There we go. Where's Bobby? Where's Bobby? Alice. 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 Some concerns. <laughs> There's that happy face. He's gonna get you. <gasps> well, Ellis got out on us, but Duncan had to run and find the restroom. He's back now. I found a nice shady spot, so I'm good. Christina apparently forgot Ellis's hat, so uh, he stole mine. He is about to pass out. He's so tired. Look at him. Since Duncan hasn't quite learned how to swim yet, we're gonna attempt to, to help him learn how to doggy paddle. He's, he's kicking. Oh, and Duncan's apparently going underwater now with a mask on. Once he gets good at this, then he'll be able to kick. Let's see. I'll go under with him. One, one, two, three. Hey, did it. And so big surprise. Duncan apparently can swim, kind of now. Go for it. He's moving. He's moving. It's kind of like Ellis butt scooting. He's making progress. Oh, and there he goes again. Well, he's made some really good progress, but uh, it's looking pretty nasty out here. I think it's about time to wrap it up. And it's about dinner time anyway. I think someone is pleased with Duncan's progress. But yeah, we gotta get out of this. That's, that's gonna get nasty. It's beautiful over there, as Duncan was saying. But yuck. <laughs> and we made it back in perfect timing. Right after we got in here, we got Ellis in the bath. I looked outside and it is just downpouring the rain. Yeah. Very happy to not be in that. Well, we're out at dinner now. I decided to leave the camera because rain. It just it stopped raining and now it started again. You probably can't even see it, but it is just coming down. It's actually lightened up some. And he's having all the fun. Hey. You having fun, you want something to do. But we're at a place called Bahama Breeze and yeah. Somebody drinks so well. Oh, 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 oh. Add a little shot on the side. <laughs> Came with an extra shot just in case. It wasn't enough. And there's a very pretty sunset. So see if I can get up there. There we go. Look at that. Focus on the sunset. It's very pretty now that the sky's clear. And skipping right ahead. After dinner, we went by Target, and that, let's just say that was a lot of fun. With the whole idea, the whole threat of the hurricane and possibility of it actually hitting here, there are lots and lots of people that are afraid, so there were lots and lots of people that were out trying to get bottled water and canned food and just supplies in general. So I won't say that it was a run or that it was a mad dash or anything, but there were a lot of people, and a lot of people that didn't speak English very well, that were just pushing their way through the aisles, and bottled water was pretty much entirely gone. There was one guy that was carrying two big armloads of, like, things of bottled water, and everybody was trying to figure out where he'd found them, and it was kind of, it was not mayhem or anything, but it was panicky, we'll put it that way. And I was, of course, riding around on a cart because my foot's bothering me today because I kind of hit it in the door at the restaurant. But anyway, we've made it back. We have supplies. We're good for a little while. All extra, right. Extra supplies just in case. Most important, diapers. Diapers. We, yes. we had diapers, but I just want to make sure we didn't yeah. need diapers. When we were leaving the restaurant, the baby had uh, a bit of an accident. And then as soon as we got into the car and got him changed, he did it again. So it was two in a row and it was a lot. But he seems to feel pretty good now. Yeah, he feels much better. <laughs> yeah, he's a happy little boy. We're back, yay. Hooray. Tired. So while we were in Target, Jordan is too embarrassed to tell. There was no reason to tell it. <laughs> we, he rode one of the carts because everybody knows he has a broken foot. And it was hurting because we've been walking quite a bit today. And we were driving through one of the aisles. And he ran into a display that had shampoo and conditioners on it. 
and they went everywhere. Like all of them fell off of the display and one of them busted. The part of the story she neglects to mention there is that she made me take an extremely tight like 90 degree turn which the mm -hmm. carts are capable of doing but these carts are designed differently than the ones I normally drive around. So it's it's a little bit of a tighter turn and then there's this display that's sitting out in the aisle blocking part it of the was, aisle. It was, sitting, it was sitting out in the aisle. It was sitting out in the aisle. And then there were like two or three other people that helped me clean it up while I was still leaning like from the cart onto... It was a bad situation. We'll just put it at that. It was a bad situation. Poor Dad. And it's all because she made me go down the it's aisle. It's my fault. Totally. And I you're all blurry. down that aisle. Yep. Totally. Her fault. Her fault entirely. <laughs> And you know what? It is late. It's almost 10 o'clock already, so we're probably gonna go ahead and wrap up the video for today in the bed. <laughs> Reminds me of Roman Atwood. Yep. We've seen does, a lot of his logs. He does that a lot. Yep. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. Hopefully we have a good enough connection to actually get this video uploaded. Probably ought to wrap it up there. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you again tomorrow.